Hey everybody, it's Jeff. I'm going to give you a quick one-two on the uh, flip video camera. So when you get it first, it's gonna you'll see it in a box like this. And I'm moving around a little bit here, so sorry about the audio. Just go ahead and open it. And this is a self-contained video camera. And uh, box like so. Open it up. And uh, you don't have to fiddle with the box other than that. Um, what you'll see here on this side, this is the power button. If you push this button, the screen will come on in the back. And what you can see are pretty standard controls here. The big red button, you push this and it'll start recording. Um, this will play anything that you have um, in memory. You can shuffle between recorded videos by using the back and forth. This up and down, uh, the positive and negative, you can use for uh, zooming in and zooming out, but I don't advocate that just because uh, if you want something closer, you should actually uh, move the camera closer to what you're going to use. Uh, this here is a trash can uh, icons to delete something and uh, we prefer that you don't delete anything just for uh, safety's sake of not deleting anything that you've uh, worked on uh, by accident and unless something is really a uh, major error <laughs> that you don't want anyone to see. But uh, go ahead and just leave it on there. we got two hours of time on the camera so you don't have to uh, worry about deleting things. So like I said before, if you want to get started, all you have to do is hit the big red button here and that will start recording right away. Um, and um, just so you know, um, this pull this trigger here, this actually kicks out the USB connection, but you won't need to do that because we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of all that for you. Um, when you hit record, this is going to be kind of weird, go ahead and hit record on here. Uh, you, when you're looking at the camera, you'll see that it has a red light here on both sides. That means that it's recording, and um, this also is the microphone right here. When you get done recording, you can go ahead and hit the uh, red button again and that'll stop it and then if you want to go back and hit play you can watch what you just recorded by hitting that and then I pause that as hit play again and that stops it and then uh, you know like again you can just these are touch they're not like actual buttons you press so don't you know push too hard on them um, that's about it for operating the camera it's pretty straightforward um, you can tell when you push the playback that the audio does not sound so good that's because the uh, the audio, or excuse me, the speaker is about the size of my fingernail here. It's very tiny. Um, uh, one of the other things that comes with the camera, let me go ahead and turn this off here. You can just go ahead and hit the button, push that in a little bit, and if you've got big fingers like me, it doesn't work so well. Let's see here one more time. There we go. And it's off. Um, this is going to come along with it. This is actually a charger. Uh, you can look on the back here. It's got a little flip up. Oop. That, that plugs right into the wall, just like you know, and uh, actually you will need to use the USB on this to charge it. If you come in here and the battery is not charged at all, um, just go ahead and pull this lever on this side. It'll open up the USB. You can take it. You'll see it's got a USB connection right there. You will place it in there like so. And um, you can hang this from the wall. You know, you can put this in a regular wall outlet or lay it flat. If uh, I'd prefer actually if you guys use a wall outlet, if you can get an up and down one, if you have sideways ones, it's not going to work so well. And if you lay it flat like this, make sure you kind of put something under it. Um, you know, if you have like a small book or something, just so you're not putting a lot of pressure on the USB connection there. Um, brand new camera, and so you guys are be the first ones using it uh, before we even do. So, and then when it's done charging, the light should go off or something to that effect. It only takes about, I think, two hours to charge it to full. So if you uh, get the camera and need to charge it, just go ahead and plug it in and uh, it should retain that charge for a long time. Just go ahead and fold that back up when you're done and then we'll include that back along the way. Um, now I'm just going to give you a couple practices here too with the, uh, with the uh, tripod I'm sending along. Let me, uh, I'm going to pop this off here. Hopefully nobody gets dizzy. Alright, here. I can swoop around and see my messy office. Um, this is the uh, tripod. I was just actually using this. Um, first thing, oh, let me zoom back here. This is the tripod. It's kind of a weird looking tripod. It's got all these uh, kind of a tentacle arms on it. This you can actually wrap around like door handles and things like that. Or you can set it flat like I was just doing. Um, to use it standard, you just uh, turn this and then that allows the swivel base here to move. That's, this is actually where you're going to put the camera. Um, you actually will take this little guy. It's got a little screw in it. Uh, there's a screw hole in the bottom of the camera that you can actually... Uh, let's see if I can do this. Alright. You can take this like so. 
and then you can uh, screw that guy right in there. That's in there. And then we'll take this and then you put it in the uh, base here and then there's a little pin back here I can't do it I don't have enough hands but if you pull this pin out or back it won't come all the way out it'll uh, drop in and it'll secure in there so if you're shooting this by yourself and you don't have somebody to help you out you can use it that way um, a couple other tips I'm just gonna give you here we're gonna write these out too um, I would ask that you do uh, I'm just gonna zoom this back here uh, we ask that you do about five or six takes uh, if you can, just so we have them, and don't delete them, we want to go through and see what you have. These don't have to be terribly scripted. They can be just like I'm talking now or when you go and present to a group. Um, you know, we want them to be somewhat natural and, um, you know, not like you're reading off a cue card the whole time. Also, you don't want to stand in front of a window and shoot. I don't know if this is going to work the way I want it to, but you can probably see right now that the light's coming through and my face is getting shadowed a lot. Uh, it's probably not working as well as we'd like, so don't stand in front of a window. Um, standing in front of a plain background would be good. Um, standing in front of a background that might not put you in the best light would not be good. So if you can find just like a plain wall with maybe a plant or something nice. Also think about the acoustics of the room you're in. Um, you don't want it to be too echoey, and a lot of the times you won't be able to tell it's very echoey until after the fact. Even on the camera, it might sound okay, but um, when we get it onto the computer, you really notice it a lot. So maybe find one or two places that you might be able to record and uh, go ahead and do those. Uh, we'll write up some other um, tips, but if you have any questions along the way when you get the camera, if you have any questions about how to do something with it, feel free to call me. Um, you know my number or email me, but call me the best because you'll probably be working on it. And uh, that's about it. Uh, if I left anything out or you feel like something's missing, like I said, feel free to give me a call. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. We're really looking forward to seeing your videos.